Donald J. Trump. This is what we thought the race for the White House would look like. But the coronavirus pandemic has pushed the Biden and Trump campaigns mostly online, making social media even more important than usual. Conservative Republicans who oppose the president are even using it to try to undermine his support within his own party. My name is Lori and I live in a very small town in southwestern Wisconsin. Republican voters against Trump collects testimonials from conservatives and actual 2016 Trump voters, explaining why they've now turned against him. I find myself every day almost in tears with my fear of what this man has already done to our country and what he's going to do if he gets four more years. He is very slowly chipping away at our democracy one little piece at a time. Another group called The Lincoln Project is putting out highly produced, highly critical videos like this one. Something's wrong with Donald Trump. He's shaky, weak, trouble speaking, trouble walking. On social media and television, the founders of these groups are longtime critics of the president. He derisively refers to them as never Trumpers. The president's approval rating amongst Republican voters overall, though, has consistently stayed around 90 percent since his inauguration in 2017. I think that ads have an important role to play in any campaign, but overwhelmingly this is going to be decided based on the economy, the course of the pandemic, and people's pre-existing attitudes about President Trump, which have been fairly hardened on both sides. President Trump is trailing his rival Joe Biden in national polls by about eight points. Hillary Clinton had about a six-point lead at the same time in 2016. I have been a Republican my entire adult life. Republican voters against Trump videos have attracted almost 25 million views on YouTube so far. Their impact on the election will depend on how many Republicans actually vote against the president and how many of them live in battleground states like Florida or Pennsylvania. Giles Gibson for CGTN, Washington.